Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Pokepans and welcome to episode 13 of our Pokemon X Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you have somehow stumbled onto this episode and you haven't seen the previous 12 episodes, what are you doing? Go back and catch up right now. I've left a link down in the description and up in the top right hand corner to a playlist so you guys can go and do that right now. But for those of you that have been keeping up, let's do a quick team recap before we get into today's episode. So first off on our team, we have Blubby the Celio, our starter. With low kick, parabolic charge, water pulse, glaciate, and a pickpocket ability. Next, we've got Spooky the Mega Gengar with Surf, Tail, Glow, Toxic Spikes, Hex, and the Rock Head ability. Next, we've got Heat Vice the Grovile with Aqua Jet, Supersonic, Mega Drain, Ancient Power, and the Dark Aura ability. Next on our team is Diode the Snorlax with Toxic Spikes, Chip Away, Triple Kick, Crush Grip, and the Poison Heal ability. Next on our team is Killer the Gallade with Force Palm Avalanche, Perish Song, Roleplay and the Anticipation ability. And finally on our team is actually Mien Xiao, um, but we got gifted this Snivy last episode and we wanted to evolve it. So on our team right now is Groba the Servine with String Shot, Quick Attack, Amnesia, Rock Throw and Overgrow. But our actual team member here is Mien Xiao. So um, that is what our team is looking like right now. Last episode we got to this new town. And Serena challenged us to a fight outside the gym, so we need to go explore and work out where we need to go. Um, ooh, is that a random mart? Could be a random mart. It is a random mart. Ooh, silk scarf, that's nice. Choice specs? Yo, choice specs, nice. Alright, so let's buy a silk scarf. We got 63k. We have a lot of money right now, that's very nice. Right, we'll buy a silk scarf. Oh, we'll give that to Snorlax. Is Silk Scarf better than Crush? Uh, better than Rocky Helmet? Got Mewtwo Knight Y. Okay, we'll buy that because it's free. This guy's selling Pokeballs. I think we will get a Choice Specs, you know? Whether or not we're going to give it to anyone. Oh, Shiny Stone! Weren't we looking for a Shiny Stone? Or was that on a different... Was that the different game? Hmm. I'm going to buy a Shiny Stone anyway because we've got money to spare right now. Having a Shiny Stone would be good. Netball, Pixie Plate, White Herb, and Ampharosite. I am for our site. We'll buy one of those as well. All right, and a bunch of uh, white herbs there is good. This is actually a really nice, uh, really nice store. Did we get a choice specs? Yeah, we did get a choice specs. Okay, so that's actually a really cool, uh, really cool random store. No random store there. Does this guy give us a fishing rod or anything? He does give us a fishing rod. Oh, I'm so good at this game. All right, that's the good rod collected. That was a really good store. We got choice specs. We got silk scarf. Some really cool stuff there. Um, all right, Ooh, what's what's this place? Oh, let's talk to the sign so it tells us. Poker Center and the gym. Oh, okay, so that's where we need to go. We need to go Poker Center first. Does this guy talk to us? Is he even a real person? There we go. All right, so let's go to the Poker Center. He'll have our Pokemon because they were quite weak, and we need to get. Oh dear. I hope there's no battles or anything here. Hello, Pans. Hello Professor Sycamore, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far by the way, if you are, please be sure to leave a like on the videos, it definitely helps out. Uh, bomb between blah 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 make something, maybe that's a coincidence, what an excellent point, the more you blah blah blah, so much chatter. Oh that's right, I came here to give you this, is this gonna be, oh the fly HM, okay, I mean I don't really like having um, fly on any of my Pokemon that I use. Um, because it's not a very good move. It's a two-turn move that isn't, like, that powerful and isn't 100% accurate, so it's, like, meh. Um, never mind just blabbing about my own things. It's our battle next time we meet. Okay. But let's go to the Pokemon Center. I think we have just got to talk to this person. Yes. Okay, we'll heal up a Pokemon, and then I guess we can go and check out the battle with, um, Serena. Is it Serena? I can't remember. Shauna? I don't know. I can't remember their names. Oh, we got a metronome. That's good as well. Damn, we're getting some good items today. Choice Specs, Metronome, Silk Scarf. These are all good items. Okay. I mean, it's not even a competition, is it? Monorails or Pokemon? It's definitely Pokemon. All right. Let's heal up our Pokemon. Let's put... um. Oh, we got a random mart there as well. We got to check out that random mart as well. So let's put in uh, Grober and we'll take out me and Xiao. This is what I think is the best option right now. Although I am curious whether we should bring 
Sableye on instead of Mian Xiao. Mian Xiao has the better moveset right now, which is what's uh, drawing me towards Mian Xiao. Sableye is pretty good for catching Pokemon because it's got like weak moves. But when we're about to take on a gym, I think Mian Xiao is probably more useful, even though we probably won't use it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll keep him on the team right now, but um, it's likely that it's going to get replaced next time we find a good Pokemon. Uh, let's chat to these guys. Oh, there's another Opal guy. We're going to ignore him and just check out this random Mart. Red Scarf, Fist Plate, and a Berry. Okay, this is not a particularly good store, but we will get one of those Fist Plates to give to uh, one of our fighting Pokemon. And should we, let's check what our stocks of like potions and stuff are looking like right now. So Hyper Potions, we have 15. That's plenty. Super Potions, we've only got 9. So let's get another 11. Take that up to 20. Normal Potions are becoming more and more useless. Actually, let, because they're getting more and more useless, let's get a few more Hyper Potions because we've got some cash right now. Uh, should we get some Full Heals too? Yeah, we should probably get some Full Heals too. Let's get like... Let's get like five full heals. What are our Pokeball situation looking like? Pokeballs, we have 29. That's good. Great Balls, we've only got 11. Ultra Balls, we have one. So let's get let's get another 10, 10 Ultra Balls and another 10 Great Balls because why not? And then we've still got 25k, which is really nice. All right. So our team is all healed up, I believe. We did use the... No, we didn't use the Poke Center. That's a good, good job I checked. So let's use the Poker Center, let's go find the gym, let's take on Serena or whatever her name is who wants to battle us. And then maybe we can find ourselves a new encounter again today, let's have a look. Um, I haven't checked the map actually, so let's check the map, see if there are any routes that we can get our hands on. So we're currently, yes, okay, so there is another route here, route 13. I don't know, ooh, what's up, what's up this way? Sea Spirits Den ooh. and Azure Bay, so there's like... Potentially three encounters that we could get from here. I think we're probably going to have to take on Serena first. So let's go find the gym, wherever that is. Maybe this way? Yes. Sorry I'm late. Could you show me your Mega Evolution? Um, I guess we're battling her. Rival battle. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. Okay, so you got three Pokemon. Got a Durant. Steel Bug type. Okay, so we've got our Blubby right here. Um, I think we can take it out with a... Oh, we got Low Kick. Low Kick... Well, let's go for Water Pulse. I feel like Water Pulse is going to do more than Low Kick anyway. Okay, he's going for Smoke Screen. If he's got a Steel move, that might do a good chunk of damage to us. Durant actually has really good attack. Um, he usually has the Hustle ability as well. Oh, he's going to give us his item. We got a Hard Stone. Okay. I mean... That's actually good. I don't think we get to keep it, but... There we go. Hearthstone is like a rock-type boosting item, I think. Okay, so there's a Warp Pulse. Durant goes down. Very nice. Only level 31 here. I don't know what level the gym is. Again, I've not looked, um, but we should be fine with our Pokemon. Nose Pass. So that's a... I think that's just a rock-type. I don't think that's a Steel Rock. Probo Pass, I believe, is Steel Rock, but I think Nose Pass is just Rock. So Warp Pulse should take it out. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Alright, next battle. Next Pokemon. Scrafty. Dark and fighting type. Um, we had problems with this guy before, didn't we? Let's go for a low kick. Okay, so Mega Punch is just a normal type move. It's not actually a fighting type. How much does low kick do? So Scrafty has really, really good defenses. Um, I don't actually think a Water Pulse would would do more damage than a low kick because his special defense in particular is really high he's a really bulky fighting type okay we got the confusion which definitely helps there um so let's go for another low kick that's one of the positives about water pulse is uh the confusion I don't know if I would... Like, Water Pulse is so good because of the confusion chance. If we like had an option to learn Scald or uh, another like really strong water move, I don't know if I would replace Water Pulse. Scald has a burn chance, which is good. Heat Vice wants to learn Thief. Thief is a physical move. Heat Vice is a special attacker. I think we want to keep it as it is, you know? 
No, we'll, we'll, we won't learn Thief. Let's keep our old moves. Killer agree level 33. Killer wants to learn Sludge. Um, yeah, it's probably better than roleplay. Perish Song will be very useful. The only the only risk that I have with Perish Song is if we use it um, and then like they switch straight away and we get locked in because of Arena Trap or something. That is what I'm worried about with uh, with having Perish Song on there. But equally, it could get us out of like some battles that we're really struggling with. A good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? All right, let's go back to the Poker Center and heal up. Um, I think what we're going to do is see if we can find some encounters before we do the gym here. If we can get like a couple of new encounters before that, that'd be super handy. Um, I'm gonna go back on the monorail to go back. I think if we go past the monorail station, that's probably where the new route is. Like if we go back this way. And then go back on the monorail. I actually have no idea where we're going though. Obviously the gym is there. That's the next like big uh, milestone that we've got to do. And then, then obviously we're going to go to the next gym because we've got three badges right now. We've got a third one in the last episode. I think if we go up this way, it'll be a new route. Maybe? Oh, never, we just got a TM. Absolutely. Here's the question. What's the move I'm describing? Slow a Pokemon, get to move first for five turns. Trick room. Biru, biru. We got Rock Throw. Okay, we haven't got any Rock Pokemon on us right now, but uh, that's pretty good. Please come again tomorrow. Oh shit, we get to keep coming back and getting random TMs. That's that's very nice. Okay, all right. Well, apparently this wasn't a new route, but um, what is this? Hotel. There's probably a bunch of stuff in that hotel. I'll probably get those off camera. All right. Well, I thought this way was going to be towards the new route, but clearly I was incorrect. So let's go back. My bad. My bad, guys. My bad. Let's go back. Um, we need to go... Which way was it? Was it east to get to the next route? I think it was, right? I don't know how we're going to get east because we come off and there's, like, the sea blocking us, but... Can we go down? No. We can't go down this way, though. If there's water available in this town, we can get an encounter from, the, uh, from fishing because we just got a new rod. All right, so this has got to be a new route, right? Route 13. Let me just double check. This is the right route for a new encounter. I believe it is. Yes. Okay, Route 13 is, in fact, a new encounter. So because of that, let's put someone who's got... Someone who's not blubby up front. Um, has anybody got... I don't think anyone has a nuzzle. Should we bring out... Bring out Waffle... To get the nuzzle. I think we should. Let's go get Waffle. If we're going to try and catching Pokemon, I think it's worth having Waffle on the team to get to have that nuzzle for the guaranteed paralysis. So let's do that. Should definitely have done that before running all the way there and then coming back, but whatever. All right, so let's um, oops, let's uh, get Waffle out instead of Ari here, and then put Waffle up front. There we go. Ari will be back on the team for the gym. Like I said, the move set is just better i think um and we can give it fist plate as well to boost his fighting type moves of which it has like oh are you gonna give us items uh okay so this is the this is another story way i think route 13 has probably got more story stuff from what i just read all right so that looks like a pokemon here we go here we go route 13 encounter what do we got it's a mess, Brit. All right, we got a legendary encounter here, guys. Legendary encounter. It's got pressure. Let's go for the nuzzle. So I believe Mesprit is a uh, pure psychic type. So we can go for, and it's bulky as hell. So we could probably go for Bullet Punch. Uh, actually, I'm gonna Feather Dance it, just in case it does have like a physical move that it can use against us. Just be safe. Use the uh, use the feather dance to reduce his attack. Okay, it's got bubble, it's got karate chop. We'll feather dance it once more. We'll do another feather dance and then we'll start lowering its health with bullet punch. It'd be really cool to catch one of these legendaries, man. 
Alright, um, it's not the best legendary, although we haven't got a- oh, we do have a psychic on our team. We've got a Gallade now, of course. I think Gallade would probably be better than Mesprit, to be honest with you. But it's good to have, uh, good to have some redundancy, especially, um, in a Nuzlocke where Pokemon can faint out of the blue. Okay, so let's keep going for Bullet Punch. Let's lower its health. If we can get it below a third, then I'll start chucking balls at it. Yeah, you keep going for Karate Chop. I'm happy for that. So we know it's got, what, Bubble? It's got Confusion. That's good. Stab move. Bubble, Confusion, Karate Chop, and then we don't know his last move. Alright, here we go. Come on. Like, a couple more Bullet Punches. As long as you don't get a crit. Well, that was a crit. Okay. It's on red health. It's paralyzed. Let's throw... I'm going to chuck a, an Ultra Ball in here. I don't know what its catch rate is like. I'm guessing pretty low. Alright, here we go. Legendary Pokemon. First legendary of the run. With the first ball. Ah, I jinxed it, man. I jinxed it. Alright, let's try Let's try another, leg uh, another, uh, another Ultra Ball here. Right, after 10 turns, we do have a timer ball. Alright, here we go. Come on, Mesprit. Stay in the ball. Oof. Didn't even shake. Alright, so let me work this out. So we've done three feather dances. We've done a nuzzle. So three feather dances, a nuzzle, um, a bunch of bullet punches. We've done at least, like... We've done at least six turns without the bullet punches. I don't know how many bullet punches. So let's check a couple more balls and then we can use that timer ball. Because it's only ten turns that you've got to uh, wait for time ball to have full effectiveness and then it's better than an ultra ball. One shake. Two shakes. Three shakes. Come on, Mesprit. Yo! We got ourselves a Mesprit! That's what I'm talking about. Legendary Pokemon on the team. Uh, we got some levels from that as well. Got some good XP. Mesprit's day are added to the Pokedex. The Emotion Pokemon, known as the Being of Emotion. It taught humans the nobility of sorrow, pain, and joy. Wow. Uh, Yet yeah, we will call it... What should we call Mesprit? It's what it's a pixie Pokemon, right? I'm, I'm just going to call it Pixie. Part of the Pixie Trio, I think. All right, let's go check out Mesprit then. It probably won't be on our team for the uh, for the gym battle, but you know maybe it's OP somehow. Even though we know its ability is pressure, and we know three of its moves. Let's go and check it out. Organize boxes. Let's have a look at Pixie the Mesprit. It's holding a Max Ether, which is very nice. Neutral nature. It's got Rock Throw as the last move. Bubble, Karate Chop, Rock Throw, and Confusion. Good, good stats, man. Really well-rounded stats. Look at that. The lowest is Speed at 51. That's not a bad Pokemon, man. That's not a bad Pokemon at all. Unfortunately, it is a Psychic type, and we do already have Gallade, whose attack is absolutely insane. Just needs to learn, like, Zen Headbutt or Psycho Cut or something. Um, but that is very nice. That Mesprit is uh, really well-rounded. It's level 27 with, like, all 60 stats. If we look at the rest of our Pokemon here, like, it's the most well-rounded Pokemon if we added it to our team, for sure. But uh, for now, we'll keep it in the PC. We will uh, bring Ari back on the team, and let's go and try and take out some of the gym trainers. Let's put Blobby back up front. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to keep it like that. Let's keep it like that. Let's uh, heal up as well. I don't think anybody took any damage, but just in case, we'll heal up. All right, Mesprit is a great addition to our team. To our, our backlog, I guess. Our reserve team. I don't think you want too many duplicate types on your main team. Like, at the moment, we are duplicate. We have got duplicate fighting types, which is kind of annoying. But um, there's not much we can do about that unless we brought on, like I said, Waffle. And in that case, we'll be duplicating Ghost type. Um, all right. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's go see what we can do here. Which way are we going? Should we go left or should we go right? Let's go. Let's go right and battle that trainer. And see what kind of level we're looking at here. What levels we're we looking at, bud? 
Because if he's like overly strong, we can use this episode to uh, explore those extra routes. Okay, he's got torching, so we're not going to struggle in terms of typing or like power. But let's have a look what this single Pokemon's level is. 32. We should be fine. We should be fine to get up to the gym trainer, the gym leader today. And we need to stop using Blubby. <laughs> I, I say this every time Blubby comes out in battle. I'm like, we need to stop using Blubby. Blubby is too strong. He's level 41. Ah, we grew to level 31. Let's put, um, should we put Gallade out front? Uh, who could use some levels? Like, I want Gallade to be strong. Spooky is already, like, level 34. Yeah, let's put Gallade up front. See if we can get him up a few more levels. Because if he could learn, like I said, Psycho Cut or Zen Headbutt or any kind of physical psychic move. I'm trying to think of any more. Those are the only two that popped in my head. That'd be really good. So I'm going to try and battle a few more of these gym trainers. Um, I know there's one to the right here, which I saw. So we'll go get this guy. Get Gallade some XP, get some more money. Gallade is currently holding the Lucky Egg as well, so he should get a bonus XP. Alright, Golurk. It's a Ghost Ground type. So we are actually going to have to swap here. I'm going to swap into Blubby. Because, um, okay, the fact that he shuddered means he probably does have a ghost move. So let's go into Blubby. I know I said I was going to not use Blubby, but um, Golurk should give some good XP. And we can't stay in because, yeah, like I said, ghost move. Shadow Punch would have taken, would have done a lot of damage there. Um, but let's Water Pulse. Yeah, some good damage, some good damage. All right, I think what we'll try and do is swap back into Gallade if we can on the second Pokemon here. Oh, that was, I mean, that's a fine move, I guess. It's still super effective. Cool. It was a misclick, but it worked out. Blubby gained 1,000 XP, Blubby grew to level 42. We're basically solo running with Blubby right now. What's the learn Mirror Shot? What does Mirror Shot do? It's a steel move. Lowers accuracy, and it has low accuracy himself, 65 power. I guess low kick? I get yeah, because low kick's physical, right? Our physical attack is bad. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Low kick was pretty good in terms of coverage, but I think um, mirror shot would be pretty good as well. Okay, so Nidoran female. This isn't going to give enough XP to be worth switching, I don't think. So let's just go for a water pulse. Oh, of course we missed. And of course he's got Calm Mind. Yeah, so okay, so I was going to switch on the second Pokemon, like I said, but I don't think it's going to give enough XP to warrant switching. It's going to be like no XP because it's a weak Pokemon. And he's going to Calm Mind again. As long as we hit this water pulse, though, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm pretty sure Lucky Egg, uh, the effect happens even if you only get XP from XP share. So, Gallad should still be getting some decent XP from just being in the party holding a Lucky Egg. Yeah, 340 XP, that would have been split. Galvantula. So, he is a bug type. Um, does... Do we have anything good against that? Not really, actually. We haven't got a ground Pokemon. I am going to switch into Killer here. And then maybe switch out afterwards. He's probably going to go for an electric move. Because it's good against Blubby. Thunder? Oh. Oh no, Gallade, no. Please resist it. Please, please. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go into Snorlax here, actually. Because um, Snorlax is really specially defensive. Thunder's kind of scary. Gallade tanked it like a boss. And Snorlax should tank it even better because his special defense is just insane. Look at that, man. Snorlax took no damage. And we get to crush grip this bad boy. Except Galvangelo is faster. Just don't paralyze us with a thunder. He's hit three thunders in a row, by the way. Not missed a single one. Ah, there we go. Galvantula is down. We should get some decent XP for that. Yeah, 1,000. 1,500 for Killer, who's grown up another level. And Blubby grew up a level as well. Uh, Blubby gained some XP as well. Didn't grow up a level. Uh, okay, so... 
Oh, he's going to give us an item. I can tell because the game freezes. A sharp beak. So that boosts uh, flying type moves, I believe. And he's going to give us another one, even though I'm spamming B. So apparently these things, you can only get, you can only ever get two of them. Can't only get one. There we go. All right. So let's go back and heal our Pokemon, and then we can make our way back up again, I guess. Because uh, we had a we had a paralyze there, didn't we? And we took some damage from that thunder, which did a lot of damage. So let's go down, heal up our Pokemon, and take a few more on, and then hopefully we can make our way to the leader. And then next episode we can do the same as last episode and just like start the episode on the gym leader battle. That'd be pretty sick. All right, so let's go heal up. I'm still gonna keep Killer out front. He's level 34 now. Um, He's got a stab fighting move. Doesn't have a stab psychic move, unfortunately. Um, we don't actually have any TMs to teach him. We could give him rock throw, but I don't know if that'd be better than sludge. I'm trying to think about the coverage. Sludge is super effective against like grass types. Um, rock throw is not very effective against grass types. What's his special attack like? Bad compared to his physical attack. But I am coverage in it. It's just coverage. His special attack is like half his physical attack. Even though he's got a beneficial special attacking nature. Nothing we can do about that though. Alright, let's uh, work our way back up. Which way did we go? I can't remember. I think we went right. Yeah, because there's a trainer there. Alright, and then we went left and then right again, right? Left, up, right, I believe that's what we did. Except we don't actually need to go right this time because... Because uh, we've already battled that train and we know it wasn't the right way. So we'll go left here. Or do we just go straight up? Let's try and go straight up. No, not straight up. Straight up was the incorrect way to go. I, sh I should have assumed that, really. Should have assumed that that was the wrong way to go. We've got to go back down. Looks looks like that may be the way. I appreciate the designs that they've gone for here, but, like, making it this long to get to the gym leader is kind of annoying. All right, Brooke sent out Behiem. So that's a psychic type with a really high, um, a really high special attack. And, okay, he's got a move that's super effective against us. So I'm going to go into Snorlax again. I'm going to try and not switch into Blubby. Snorlax has got a uh, great special defense, like I said in the last battle. So if it's got... Also, if I had, like, Shadow Ball or something, um, which is the super effective move, then uh, that would have been a good switch into Snorlax. We'll go for the Crush Grip. which Maybe we could have gone for the um, Toxic Spikes. Crush Grip should do chunks to this guy. Yep, there we go, and we can go for... I guess we'll go for a chip away, right? And his defense rose, chip away. Ka-ching! Bye-bye. Nice, I think we should give... Um... Wait. He didn't take any damage from... Um... Ooh, that's scary. Okay, Slay King is very scary. Let's go for a Crush Grip. Okay, that's a fighting move coming from a Slay King. That's going to do lots. Damage by recoil. Wait, is Snorlax not holding Rocky Helmet anymore? What the hell is going on here? Why are they not taking any damage? Okay, let's go into... Let's assume he's going to go for submission again and go into Snorlax. Uh, go into Gengar. Okay. Oh, the magic room was stopping the Rocky Helmet. Of course. Alright, so now we can Mega Evolve and go for a Surf. That should do lots. Dude, Slaking is really scary. Usually in the main games, it's uh, hampered by its ability, which is Truant, which means it can only attack every other turn. Um, so his stats are like really high to make up for that. We got a crit. Okay, good. We took it down. All right, that's that's good. I was kind of scared about that. We gained a level on Spooky. Very nice. 
Diode also gained a level 35 now. Thank you. Heat Vice grew to level 34. Heat Vice is very, very close to evolving. Two more levels on Heat Vice and he evolves. Oh, are you going to give us an item as well? You are. Paralyzed heal. That's very useful. What I might do here is just continue climbing and just heal up with items. If we're close to the top. I have no idea how close to the top we will be. Wait. <coughs> I think we came this way, right? We have to go down. Yeah. No, we should. Yeah, we need to go up this way, right? Sorry for sneezing, by the way. I Hopefully that wasn't... Uh, That wasn't too loud in the mic. Um, all right, well, yeah, we'll keep climbing. Let's see if we can get to the top without any more battles. And if we, okay, there's there's the there's the slide. Do we go this way? No, there's nothing that way. Let's go this way. Yes. Okay, another trainer. So what we'll do is we'll heal up with items. Um, so we'll use. A couple of super potions on Snorlax, because they are going to need two. And we'll use a potion on Snorlax as well. And everybody else is fine, right? Everybody else is on full, full health. And they're not paralyzed or anything. Yeah, all right, we're good. Okay, so let's go into this battle. This should be, I think, the last battle before the gym leader. That's my guess. Can't imagine there's too many more. Chespin. Okay, so we can take out the Chespin with um with killer i think we're just gonna go for a force palm because oh we got avalanche actually the only problem with avalanche is the negative speed of it it always goes second but it does like bonus damage Nice. Gain some boosted XP. Awesome. R equal to level 32. Always useful to have another Pokemon. And Lilypup. Ah, oh, bless. This was an easy battle. Force Palm should take this out in one hit. Because we have incredible attack. Nice. Easy battle. Easy battle. And we're very close to leveling up with Killer again. Alright. Cool. So that should be the last trainer before the gym leader. I think. I'm hoping, at least, this is the last trainer before the gym leader. We've got to be near the top now, right? There's the gym leader. All right. So, let's heal up our Pokemon. And next episode, we are going to take on the gym leader and try and get our fourth badge. Uh, the, these gym battles are coming thick and fast right now. It was only last episode we got our third gym badge, and now we're already at the fourth gym leader. So if you guys are enjoying the series, like I said, please be sure to leave a like down below. Comment what you think we're gonna, how you think we're gonna do against this gym leader. I think it's gonna go nice and smooth. I think our team is looking pretty good right now. We got Mega Gengar, we got Snorlax, we got Gallade, we got a uh, Grovile who's very close to evolving. Blobby is obviously carrying. I think it's gonna go really well. Uh, hopefully you guys think so too. Next episode will be on Monday. We're going to be streaming tomorrow, 3 p.m. UK time. So be there for our Pokemon Moon randomized luck lock. Uh, until next time, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Goodbye.